Hey everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to the weekly Sunday chat. And if first let me say if you are out there and you are a mother, happy Mother's Day. And if you are not exactly a mother, happy Mother's Day anyway. <laughs> some of us are dog mothers, some of us are cat mothers, some of us are grandmothers. Um, so yeah, happy Mother's Day to you guys out there. And thanks so much for coming to um, hang out this Sunday afternoon. It is one o'clock my time central. And uh, before I jump into it, you know, having an okay Mother's Day, I've been spending time with my boys today. Um, and we went to the park this morning. I'm not into like going to, you know, restaurants and things on very crowded holidays, I, you know, so we're just kind of keeping it close to home. And uh, so like, yeah, we went to the park and then my guys got me this, I shared it on Instagram. They got me this little owl James Avery necklace because um, Pardon, because they said it um, made them think, you know, because they knew I like Harry Potter. So they got it because it reminded them of the owls from Harry Potter. So they chose that for me. And a, a, an added benefit is on the back. It's kind of indented. So it kind of gives me that, like, worry stone thing. I can hang on to it and just wrap it. I don't know, like, you know what I'm talking about. So it's just sort of a comfort. I, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm really happy. And the chain's really cool, too. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of different. Um, so... Anyway, thanks so much, everybody, for coming over. Let me say hey in the chat, and then we'll jump into whatever topics I've got. And I've got a mini, very mini haul today. Um, so, yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. Um, so, hello, going on Grumpy. Hi, Angie, Treasured Vintage. And uh, TJ Towns, the Saint. Hello, welcome. Uh, hi, Chelsea, Dr. Doodle Doo, Rope and Reseller. Hi, Caroline, Mrs. M. Thanks for coming. Um, hey, Tracy, HB Picker, and Monica. Let's see who else is in there. Kristen, I know it sounds like romper room, and Jason was teasing me the other day too, but that's okay. That's my thing. I, I, the whole, and we'll get into this more in a minute, but the whole reason I do YouTube is for connection, not only connection for me, but you know, connection for for people out in the in the interweb, in the universe. You know what I mean? This is, I mean, why else do you watch people on YouTube, right? Okay, whatever. Human connection, right? Or education, whatever. Many different reasons, I suppose, now that I think of it. Okay, anyway, <laughs> um, where was I? Hey, Kristen and Melissa, thanks so much. Um, Kunzi Kunz, hello, Misty, Wendy, Hyper Picker. Hi, Rose. Happy birthday. I'm not happy birthday. Happy Mother's Day again. Um, and Cindy, hey, peace. Oh, gosh, there's some more people jumping in. I'm so happy to see you guys. Uh, Saltwater, hello, Myra and uh, Lisa Marie. Hello. Okay, thanks, everybody, so much for coming over. Okay, so I'm just, you know, let's just get the big, elephant out of the room to start with. Um, yesterday I put up a video. I took it down yesterday evening. Um, overall, basically the, the gist of the video, the intention that I had when I put the video out yesterday, um, if you had the chance to see it, was just to explain what's been going on with me over the last month and a half. Um, most of most of you have noticed a change in my temperament and mood and things like that and things being a little more sporadic. And I wanted to kind of explain what has been going on because I was finally at the point where I felt like I could speak about it without anger. <laughs> and so I did. And overall, the response was positive. Um, but I realized that my intention wasn't coming across as clearly as I wanted. Um, it, my, my intention was not so much like feel sorry for me. I don't, I'm really like, sensitive to not wanting pity. Does that make sense? Like, I would rather not. <laughs> um, but my intention was just to kind of say, this is what's going on. And then I guess I didn't focus on the takeaways enough. Like that was my main, like, okay, what do you take away from these situations? Um, the whole point was, you know, everybody has bad things happen in their lives at certain points. And if you've been married for any length of time, you, you have gone through rough patches and maybe patches where you think that you're not going to make it through as a married couple. And so it was just, um, I didn't necessarily want it to come off so much as bashing my husband, which I think a few people took it that way. Um, and he, he did watch the video. So it wasn't like he didn't know, um, and was un you know, unaware of what had happened. He knew, you know, um, and, um, so anyway, it was more about like, okay, this is what's going on. This is why my, my, um, temperament has changed lately and things have been kind of like sporadic um, and also to let people know out there like it's it's not always perfect you know what I mean you see this facade 
but you don't always know what's going on behind closed doors. And things are getting better between us. Um, it, but earlier, you know, it didn't feel that way for me, which is why I never spoke about it because it before that, because I was in a place where it didn't feel like it was ever going to get better. Um, that's where I was. So yeah, but just know that if if you see a marriage that appears perfect, know there's always maybe it's perfect at the moment. Maybe there's something going on behind the closed doors, you know. And then if you if you and there should be no shame in talking about it. Basically, like. There should be no shame in saying I'm going through a hard time, right? And that's part of it too. Was like, how do you, how do I share that? And I, and I didn't, and I, in the video I mentioned, like, thank God my sister was here because really, like, I had nobody. I think I talked to two or three people about, not, not, not even the specifics. Like, I've only, I've only spoken to maybe two or three people about the specifics of what happened, and only about a handful of people knew that we were even going through this. You know, so. Um, I, <laughs> part of it's like, people are going to think I'm nuts, right? They just like, woo, my emotions are like all over the place. No, there's a reason. So it's just, yeah. Um, and, and there is a stigma for, I don't know, like it, the thing is like you worry, okay. I, maybe it's just me. I worry about like, can I tell, like, is this friend, like I've had friendships that they're, they seem like really good friends. You think they're really good friends. And then when you suddenly share a painful event in your life like whoa that's not the kind of you know it's like that's not the kind of friend I was I mean I think I mentioned this before like I, there there was a girl who was actually supposed to be James's godmother we had been friends for like 10 years close close friends and we'd never I mean I guess it's the merit of a friendship you never know how good of a friend you have until you need them in a crisis or I hate to say like you have a, a disagreement and then suddenly you realize, oh, we had a disagreement. We had a, a moment where it was like I was pregnant, emotional, whatever. And then we had a disagreement and it was like she was done. It, and it wasn't even like that big of a, it wasn't like a screaming, yelling match. It was just like, hey, I'm pregnant. I know I'm super emotional. I didn't like the way you, you know, did this to me. And then that was like the end of our friendship forever. Like, seriously, I've not spoken to her since. So, and it was just shock, a shock to the system when you think somebody is that, I mean, she was close. I thought she was such a close friend that to the point where I, she was going to be my child's godmother, you know? So anyway, long story. You, you, I guess that's the fear that I get from sharing, you know, anything that's too intimate. Um, and maybe the same for other people because you never know. Yeah. Anyway, you just never know. So again, my husband did watch it and I talked it over with him last night and decided to go ahead and just take it down because, um, yeah, it, it was like, okay, I really wasn't trying to, it wasn't pity I was looking for. It was just, yeah, this is what was going on. And if you're going through a situation, find somebody to talk to and know that everybody has these problems in their marriage and hopefully they work out, you know, hopefully they work out. So that was that. I mean, that's, that was my main goal yesterday. So, um, yeah, and I did end up taking it down. So, and he did see it. It wasn't like, and he knows I'm on YouTube. Come on. Um, it's just not like I'm like sneaking off, like trashing him or something. And I never, and even then, even, when, even when we, you know, I should, we talked about the video, uh, you know, I was like, well, what did you think? And he was like, well, you were fair. You know, it was, I didn't give any specifics about what happened and I wasn't, I don't exaggerate or lie or anything like that. So, you know, or go out of my way to make him look bad because, you know, it, you, you want hopefully to work things out. And so I think, you know, uh, as I said in the video, we're past the point of I'm leaving you kind of deal. It's more like, okay, we're working, we're working toward, towards the future. <laughs> Other than that, I can't, I can't say much more. So anyway, that's, um, that's what was going on with that yesterday. And, you know, I, I didn't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable too. Cause I know some people get uncomfortable with emotions. I, uh, it is, it just is. So anyway, moving forward, that was that. And I already said what my takeaways were. So let me run through the chat. Cause it kind of went while I, while I was talking and I didn't stop to derail myself because I will. Um, hello, Sandra and Fran. Hi, Henry. Hello, one witch lady, Sandra. Um, 
thanks peace there's a lot of courage to show that and i just needed to vent yeah and that's that's true too like i really just hadn't talked about it you know and this is another thing like there is no shame in a counselor i'm i'm i i've been many times in my life sometimes you just need another pair of ears to hear what's happening so you're just like tell me i'm not going bananas tell me it's just like oh, or give me some perspective you know something Sometimes you just need another set of ears on what's going on and there's no shame in that at all. You know, it doesn't mean you're nuts or yeah. So I'm sure that's where we'll end up, but we'll get there. We'll see. Hey, Nevada. Um, hi, Wendy. Hi, Patty. Hello. Hello. Hi, Joni. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Um, hello again. I'm sorry if I say you more than once because I can't remember who I said hi to already. Um, so hi, Sharky Mom deal, deal, Sharky Mom's deals. Um, my offer of listening ear was not pity. It was just a friend offering him. Okay, yeah. And that's that's the thing, too. Like, maybe sometimes, it, you know, when somebody is in a sensitive mode already, it's like maybe you – maybe I was reading more into some of the comments. than Now, there were some mean comments. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> there were some – but whatever. Honestly, like, okay, if kids are watching, okay, this is the – okay, this is the southern – I'm not giving you one finger. I'm giving you all five fingers kind of deal. I'm like, I'm, I'm past the point of, like, who do you think you are? Like giving me sh schnitzel for sharing, whatever, you know? Um, sorry if you saw the one finger. I meant to not show you. <laughs> anyway, hey, Desert Wing Girl, City Picker, hello, hello. Um, yeah, Joni, nobody knows what goes on behind closed doors. Uh, Hyper Picker, yeah, things are, things are getting better. We went to the park today. <laughs> That's a step in the right direction. That means we were in the same car and made it there and back in one piece progress right so you've got to find the progress in in the little steps along the way right and then uh, one witch lady says yeah I've been there yeah thank you so much hey Lisa Marie uh, she says you're not alone more people go through rough patches and don't let the outside world know yeah and, th and that was one of the things I talked about too in the video that I can still share because I so back when Randy and I were married a long time ago and we had a good friend who was going through a divorce and I had asked him, well, have you guys gone, I thought about going to marriage counseling? And he was like, what? I was like, yeah, Randy and I have been, you know, when you get these, you, you when you're in a marriage and you start like getting these patterns where you're just butting your heads to get together, it's like you need a mediator, you know? So, and I told him like, we've, we've been to marriage counseling a couple times, you know, sometimes you just need that, like, you are not hearing my perspective, or maybe I'm not I'm, I'm not sharing it in a way that you understand, or maybe I'm not hearing what you are saying, you know, vice versa. And he was like, Margaret, you have got to tell everybody that you guys have been to marriage counselor. You need to tell the world, because in his eyes, in his wife's eyes, like, he, they thought we had, like, this perfect marriage. We just didn't talk about, like, oh, yeah, we were in counseling before, and probably in counseling again. There's no shame in it, you know? Sometimes you just need that. Um, anywho, um, moving forward uh, in the chat. Oh, yeah. Well, Joan, yeah, find somebody. You got to find somebody to talk to for sure. Hey, Chicago Crown Hustler. Hi, Wendy. Um, thanks, Cindy. Yeah, about, I, I know I'm just, if you're not, if you're watching this later, I'm reading in the chat. And I've seen people do the thing where you can show the chat while you're talking and I think I need to get a new computer because I don't think my little MacBook Air is strong enough. We've tried, Vizier here tried to show me how to use this other screen sharing live program thing and my computer's like, Plah. no, I don't think it has the, the power. I think I need a, a machine with a little more power. Um, uh, Joni, I wish you could do YouTube like this too. Yeah. Um, thanks, Rope and Reseller. Okay, my chat just jumped and do, 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 I'm scrolling back again because I don't want to miss anything because uh, it goes away after the show's over. Yep. Um, do, 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 I am reading in the chat. Yeah, fear of being judged um, by others. Just, yeah, I mean, and this is live, right? This is, which is also something I'm going to talk about later with my channel that just, so I, I, I think people are, I, some people, not all people, some people come and are just like, just give me the information already, you know, don't, I don't want to hear you talk, I don't need to know who you are, right, just give me what I want, and, you know, leave the rest for, no, from now on, it's just like, no, this is my channel, I'm going to put out what I want, and you can take it or leave it, I'm not going to care anymore, <laughs> that's how I feel today, next week I may feel differently, who knows, um, 
Thanks so much, Nevada. Yeah, it's just feelings. It's City Picker says you have Vulcans don't like emotions. That's right, those Vulcans, right? Outside ears to listen, true crafty caregiver. And yes, counselors are great. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna scroll back through. Um, yeah, Cindy says, I don't understand making mean comments. Why? What's that about? Just move on. If they don't have anything to say, just move on. It's true. And one of them, one of the comments was like violent. Like, I hope your husband watches this and gives you a beating when he gets home. It was like, what? Um, crazy stuff, you know, but that's, that's, you know, that's, and this is why I don't have my children on my videos, you know, like, cause there are crazy people out there. And you know, the thing is, it's like, I know, like, cause it was not a name I'd ever seen before. So it's somebody who's watched my channel and went and got a fake account or whatever. And like left, so it's like, you know, it's somebody that has watched me for a bit. I'm guessing, which is unfortunate, but I give you the five fingers again. Um, yeah. Uh, crafty caregivers, marriage counselors sometimes help you have a clean divorce. Yeah, this is true. But you know, I think we're, we're past that point right now. Crossing fingers. Um, communication is key. What is said is not always what is heard. This is so true because, you know, people are raised different ways and, you know, uh, you know. anyway. Excuse me. As long as both sides are, are willing to work. Okay, yeah. Now I'm catching up in the chat where they're hearing what I just said about the uh, don't, nays don't let naysayers' voice be louder than your supporters. This is so true, right? And isn't it funny how human beings, we just tend to latch on to, like, the, the few negative. Like, there could be, like, 90 positive comments and like two hateful comments and for whatever reason those two hateful ones are just like right in your face you know yeah it was so horrible yeah um yeah uh Joni says anyone wanting your info needs to know uh you to understand and not just get it for free it's true right right okay so all right that's that with the what, what, what went down yesterday so again yeah what i just said i don't need to repeat myself um, so, um, you may have noticed that I've uploaded a couple videos from my other channel. I was, I was starting another channel, Box of Chocolate Frogs, and I decided not to do that after all. It's just a lot of work, right? And Anne was like, because I, I talked to Anne from CN Save, because she started the separate channel too, and she had said something about it being a lot of work. And of course, me being me, I'm like, whatever, I'll be fine, you know, it'll be okay. Um, and I was just like, oh. It really is a lot of work. So hats off to Anne because it is a ton of work to maintain two channels for show. So yeah, I decided that's another thing too. Like, okay, this is who I am. My channel is got some of this, you know, it's like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's just, that's the way it's going to be. So I was wanting um, to have, you know, a separate channel for all my geeky stuff, Harry Potter and unboxings and things like that. And this one being dedicated to just, reselling and merch and things of that nature and I'm just like forget it it's just gonna be this is just the Margaret channel all right you can watch the Margaret channel and get what you, you know and if you don't like the Harry Potter stuff that I'm gonna or whatever I do I who knows goodness only knows what I'll do right uh, if you don't like that one then skip it and move on to the next one because yeah um, did you make the pug shirt for Anne? I made a pug shirt, but I didn't necessarily make it for Anne. My son, because I tweeted a shirt out. I don't know if I shared it. I shared it on Instagram too. Um, so I made this shirt and it says abs of pug and lutely, you know, and it's got this pug face. Well, I had made the graphic for the pug, you know, I'd found like a, um, uh, uh, public domain, it isn't even public domain, it was on graphic stock. So this pug image, it was a pug pug, but I was able to make it into a circle, right? Because I wanted it to be an O in, an, in another pug shirt that I did. So it was the O with this pug face in it. And so I was like, I, you know, I just made this and I'm going to go ahead and use this in graphic that I tweaked and whatever in, in some other pug shirts. So yeah, I was a pug and lutely shirt <laughs> for funsies, you know? For funsies, whatever. It was fun. Uh, yeah, because my son wanted to. I never did order that shirt for him though. Now that I think of it, he wanted me to make this pug shirt. We don't have pugs. He saw a kid at school with a pug shirt, and then he wanted the pug shirt. That was a thing. Um, yeah, Cindy says, yeah, the two negatives I always stick with you. Thanks, Joni. I love you guys too. Um, Healy says, I'm a counselor and of course big advocate. We need, we need to do what we need to you. Okay, I'm, I'm sure I'm not reading that right, but that's okay. I'll read it later. Um, hey, Swamp Picker. 
Oh, did you? He says, me and Lonnie kill Saturday at the neighborhood sale. Did you guys make a video? Is it on your channel? Is it on Lonnie's channel? I'll have to go watch. Um, Lisa says, I like everything in one place. Yeah, okay. I think me too. I think it's just going to be like, I'm just going to do what I'm going to do, whatever I want. But I don't think I'm going to sing that song because I don't really like that song very much. Um, anyway, so moving on. One channel is easiest. Yeah, it's it's tough. Um, Swamp says keep it and then he says kiss and I'm not sure it's probably a reference to something that's just going right over my head or something in the chat that I'm yeah I like the market channel as it is Kristen's curiosity says good 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 um HB picker says yeah I agree that's what I'm gonna do I do like I like to catch all videos but for some reasons yeah yeah I don't feel right well, okay I'm missing something I think I need to slow my brain down because I think my brain is. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, oh, Sandra says, "Yay! Please make more of your cooking videos." And that's that's something else I was thinking about too. Like I haven't done a cooking video in a really long time, um, and that's what like my kids last year, last summer, and I did that potato volcano video, and that was a lot of fun to make. So I think you know that's something else I need, I do need to make some other um, cooking ones because they're fun. You know, this is what we're cooking in our house tonight. For fun, right? Okay. Um, why do people watch a video if it's not something they want to watch? <laughs> Sitting through a TV show you don't want to watch. What's the logic of that? I got a comment on one of my videos today that was just like worst video. I'm just like seriously, okay, worst viewer. Why are you wasting your time? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, okay. So Glenn says, hey, they didn't do the they didn't do the video, but they're gonna. Um, oh, keep it simple. Okay. That's what it is. I see. I'm telling you right now, there's like, my brain is a little spongy. Some things are squishing in the brain and something. It's getting better. It's getting better, honestly. So this is good or else I wouldn't even be talking about it. Right. Okay. Oh, isn't my sister so much fun? I, and again, I cannot express how grateful I am that she happened to be here during this week. And I wouldn't have been putting up any videos if it had been for her. She was like, let's do a video. Let's do this. Come on. Let's have fun. You know, and she just, you know, you see how goofy she is. So she's like texting me these goofy pictures today. And I don't know. So she, she definitely helps a lot. So she, she's a good sister to have for sure. Okay. So <laughs> spongy is understandable. Angie says, um, so we have 90 viewers. Hey guys, go over there and hit that thumbs up button. We've got 10 thumbs up right now. Okay. So yeah, I am going to be moving over. I think I have one other video. I did a couple, I did like a giveaway over there. I'm not going to bother moving that video over here, but I did a couple other, and I'm thinking also because I did some videos on Chatterbooks. Um, yeah, Jason pigtails. I did some videos on the channel Chatterbooks that I'm thinking of like taking down and, and putting up cause they're like, they were like book clubs. And we, we've had to put a pause on it. We still have the, the group, the Facebook group, where we talk about books and stuff. But we haven't done a, like, a, a book club book. And it's been really, I mean, it was really fun. And uh, we had two, on two of the episodes, we had all, the author of the book come talk to us, which I thought was awesome. Pardon me. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take those down and bring them over and put them up over here. Um, just because they're fun and people like to read. Or not, but they're, yeah, they're fun. Um, anywho, yeah, we all need a rock in our lives. Like, okay, I'm sorry, I must have missed something. Love, oh, with a pickle. Oh my gosh, Swamp Picker says, love the look on her face when she ate the, the, oh my gosh. If you guys missed the munch pack that we did, there were these pickle balls in there. Oh my goodness. And I thought they were like, just this like salty stuff on the outside and maybe was filled with something. No, it wasn't. And there were these like balls. It was kind of like tamarind, but it wasn't. It was like chili powder and pickle salt and all this stuff. And she just took like a big honking bite out of it and then just lost it. It was horrible. Yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> I was dying. But yeah, it, it, apparently you're supposed to lick them. Um, yeah, Hulk balls. Yeah, I did make that. I comment about that. They turn your tongues green, right? Um, thanks, thanks. They like the pigtails. I was trying something new. I just wanted to like perk myself up today. So, uh, Nevada says I miss Chatterbooks. I'm not on Facebook. Um, yeah, so I will. Um, I'll, I'll be bringing those. I, mean, I might drop in one a week. 
um, cause they're pre, you know, they're ones that we did pre-recorded. And, um, so I know Heather's in one and lots of, you know, we had a good time with it. So we will, we might do it more sporadically, but we'll figure something out. It was just once a month was getting hard. Is that bad? <laughs> once a month was getting hard. Um, Oh, Kevin says, I came here to watch Nick Kills, but he's not on. I guess you'll have to do. Thanks so much. I'll take it, right? Pickleballs look brutal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Julie says, Margaret, your sister's a hoot. You can tell she adores you. Glad you have her. I'm sure, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure she is thankful for you as well. I hope so. I will, I will make sure she is. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm looking at my list of what I was going to talk about today. Moving. So I'm moving pretty much everything back over here. So you might see some videos that are pre-recorded, And then what I have to do is make them unavailable on other channels because you can't have the same video up on two channels. So yeah. Uh, let's be happy. He says, Margaret, pigtails are cute on you. Jason, you should try that with your beard. <laughs> yeah, Jason. There we go. <laughs> okay. And then, um, so that's that. I'm simplifying my life. I said, you know, I'm notorious for spreading myself too thin. It happens. And then I have a mini haul. So that's where I'm at. And basically, thanks. Oh, hey, Nick. Somebody was expecting you to be on. I don't know why, but if you want to jump in, I can send you the link. Um, somebody was like, hey, Jason. I mean, Nick's not here, but I guess you'll do, Margaret. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I do have a teeny mini haul um, from, from yesterday riding al along. Hi, Christian Janiki Show. Hello. Okay, so I picked this up, and I don't have any money. I don't know what they're going to go for. But I I was riding around. This is, it looks kind of Indian-esque, right? Maybe. To me. Anyway, I picked this up at a garage sale. It was 25 cents. I didn't even look to see if there's any marks on it. No, no marks. And honestly, I don't know what it'll go for, but I just thought it was interesting for a quarter. It's like, okay, it's metal. Cool. And it's small, right? Well, we could do a jewelry jar too. I'm sure you have one of them laying around. I do. I actually have a box from Rose that I'm going to unbox this week. So that's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Nick says but maybe they got the times muddle. We go live at 8 p.m. <laughs> that's your time. That's UK time. Okay. So thanks you guys for coming to hang out. I really do appreciate it. 104 viewers. Okay. Go over there and hit that thumbs up button. Okay. So this is also something I picked up for two bucks. And I got it because it has that sort of mid-century modern look with the pink and the that blue green and the um, I guess that's teal and then the black tips. And this one is not, you know, it doesn't have a maker's mark on it. Um, but I guess it's like a what do you say? It's a planter maybe. What do you think? I think maybe it's a planter. Right, Meyer, Meyer lives in my area. The garage sale yesterday was terrible, and I thought the weather is beautiful. Maybe because it's Mother's Day weekend. I don't know, Meyer. What do you think? I mean, I drove all over my town. I drove all over Pearland. I went into the Sagemont area. I went all the way into Clear Lake. It was slim pickings. Relish tray. Okay. Isn't it cute? So for two bucks, I'm guessing, my guess is I could probably put, you know, 25, 30 bucks on this because it does have that kind of mid-century look to it. Isn't it cute? And I have another something kind of similar to it. But again, I'm not trying to buy big yeah kind of mccoy looking i was surprised when it didn't have any marks on the bottom because it does have one of those like california pottery looks you know to it um and then this one i also got at the same garage sale it's a honey pot so i'm gonna see if my sister wants it and it was a dollar so i was like yeah okay and i don't think it's ever been used i didn't honestly i didn't even look nope never even been used see honey pot so i'll see if elaine wants that before i go sell it but for a buck that would be really cute with succulents planted in it. Oh my gosh, Nevada, you're right. Like those little cute little teeny little cactuses. Oh my gosh, that would be adorable. No, no, Margaret, you're not keeping it. I would put jewelry in it. See? See? There's so many uses. Planter. Yeah. Throw all my silverware in there. Oh, I love the colors. Planter. My grandma had some like that. Let's be happy says. Isn't the honey pot cute? So there's that. And again, it's marked DM on the bottom. Um, so, oh, okay, Nick says, my dad keeps bees too. He used to collect honey pots. I, I think this is really cute. So I'll see if Elaine wants that before I list it. It's got a nice glaze to it. Um, she got stung yesterday. She did. And if you guys know, my sister, the beekeeper, is allergic to bees. She got stung on the face because she was in a hurry, and she was taking something off, and she didn't want to go put her veil on just to do a real quick thing. And so she, like, pulled 
the lid off and this bee came right out and boom, got her right in the face. So, um, okay. I have a set of deers. Julie says in those exact same colors, there, whole wear. That's it. I have like a deer. I have like a deer too, right? And the little feet come together on the base. Um, I just relisted that today on my, um, Etsy store. So yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Cause it's that same kind of pinky modeled pink and blue. Oh yeah. She's okay. She took uh, some Zyrtec and then she has a EpiPen just in case things get bad. And did you, I have to get her to tell the story. So she needs it her own channel cause she's got so many stories. Last year, her bees were invaded by the Africanized killer bees. Her, her, her hive was invaded. So she had to try to get these killer bees out of her hive. Right. Um, so yeah, she's, <laughs> I'm like, why? I don't need that in my life. Bees. Yep. Anyway. Nah. -uh. So we'll see. Okay. So then this I got at a garage sale. First of all, the garage sale I got this at, every, the, some of the things with prices were crazy. It was like a ceramic figurine was $10 and, and then this was sitting there. Look how grody it is. It's all gross and nasty, but I saw it and I was like, that looks Disney. Right, but how weird! It's metal. I was like, "Oh, it's probably not." You know, whatever. I'll pick it up and look. So I picked it up, and I looked at the bottom, and sure enough, it's marked. Is that upside down? That is. So, copyright Disney Mexico. So whether it's a knockoff still, and they just put a stamp of Disney on there, or if it really is a vintage old Disney metal, what do you say, napkin holder? Maybe. Isn't that cool? So there's that. Um, <laughs> I know. Oh, and Lisa Marie says you two are. Yeah, so when I saw that, I was like, okay, looks like Mickey. So now, again, I don't know. I guess it's vintage, maybe. Do you think they would just stamp Disney? I don't know. Anyway, so I, I didn't look it up yet, but, and then, it, okay, so then this was 50 cents, right? So uh, they had these crazy prices on, like, ceramic figurines for $10, blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, my hands are grody now. And then this is like, oh, I was kind of worried going up, how much? for the, And I didn't say Disney. I was like, how much for this? And uh, 50 cents sold 50 cents. Okay. And then I shared this on, on G Jason's got a Tiki. Jason, I don't know if you're still there. Jason has a Tiki class coming up. Um, we have the link off the bump, the link in I lot, um, but it's 10 bucks, which is super cheap. And then you can watch it later. So anyway, so I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar. And so this is like a little Tiki, um, what's your doodle bottle opener. So I don't know if Jason, if you don't have that, I'll just send it to you with that mug if you're there. So there's that. They used to have those on the restaurant tables at Disney. Okay. Okay. Cindy says she went to a garage sale yesterday and with Payless shoes for eight bucks. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Jason, do you, I mean, if you want, I'll just throw that. I can throw it in and then you can, cause then you do like, you're doing like a tiki giveaway, a tiki starter kit. Maybe you can, I don't know. You, you probably won't get it in time for that. Who knows? You could stick it to the side somewhere if you want it. I'll just send you all my junk. <laughs> okay, and then uh, I bought a, a Texas Instruments calculator, but it wasn't one of the ones that's worth a ton of money. So it's one of the graphing ones, but this is a TI-82. And I didn't want to look it up right in front of the, the guy, but I was like, okay, you know, I'll get it. It was $2. So it was worth the, you know, it was 2 bucks. But really, this is the one, I think it only sell, sells for like $10 or something. Oh, Jason says, I have one, but thank you. You're about to have two. <laughs> okay, so yeah. And again, if you're not in the iLot, International League of Thrifters, come join. If you're in Jason's group, I'm sure you've seen he's got the, the, the Tiki class stuff going out. Okay, and then I, I picked up this at a garage sale. Look how cool it is. Okay, so this is the front of the necklace. Isn't that cool? It's like a snake over here. And I don't even know. And maybe that's a horse. And is that a dog or a coyote? What is that over there? This guy looks tiki down there, doesn't he? Or is that just weird? There's like a leg. And then, and then there's like, is that a mouth? I don't even know what's going on in this one. And then here's the back. <laughs> Look at the back. Okay, so there's the back of this one. Is that an elephant maybe? I have no idea. So there's this. Um, and if I'm wrong about that calculator, let me know because, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's this thing. So my TI-84 got 55 a couple years ago. Yeah, and I've sold the 84 or 80. I sold one of the ones that you do get the good money for. But I looked this one up after and I'm like, mm, it wasn't that great. Okay, so this cool necklace, which I was like, this is so awesome. 
it's it's like a from it's marked hang on let me get the tag avenue which is like like a plus size women's clothing so i was just like this weird thing came from like a chain unless the cord unless this wasn't originally on this cord i don't know it was just so weird that i was like okay so it was a buck I'm like, all right, I think I can get more than a buck on that. But isn't that funny, Melissa? That's like Avenue, randoms, you know, <laughs> like chain store. But again, maybe this, maybe the cord is not original to this. I don't know. Yeah. 84 plus silver edition. Okay. Yeah. For the calculator. So that, anyway, I think I'll be able to get good money on that. I don't necessarily need to put Avenue in the, I might put it in there because maybe somebody had it and love it and like can't find it. So that was a buck. And then um, I got another necklace for a dollar. Didn't find a whole lot of jewelry. Wrong cord probably, Melissa says. That's what I'm thinking. I was like, really? Avenue? That's weird. It's plus size also. Okay, so then we got this, which I think may be a necklace or possibly a belt. So that is the front. It's got this lion head. It's really heavy. It's really heavy chain. Gold tone chain, and then this. Maybe it is a belt. It won't be a belt on me. Well, hang on, let me get this open. Weird cells, totally, right? You're like, what the? Yeah. And then you know, get it. Maybe this is a belt. Because it is kind of long. It goes and it goes and it goes and it goes. Maybe it looked at me. Barely. So, okay, yeah, it's a belt. <laughs> and she's like, that's a belt. Okay. When I got it, I wasn't sure. But it is pretty heavy for a necklace. That would be kind of heavy. Okay, so that'll be cute. It's God delicious, Melissa said. Mr. T has to be a belt. And he says, yeah, this is where my brain was yesterday. I couldn't figure. I was like, hey, I'm going to get this necklace. It's awesome. Yeah, so anyway. Look at me. I can't even hold it. Here we go. So there's that. Um, and then I have two more things, which I'm probably going to keep. <laughs> it's an awesome belt. Yes. So then I got these also for a buck. And these are these like sun hats, you know, these like UV protection sun hats. My sister wears these all the time, you know, she's always got a big floppy hat on. So there's this one and they look like they're in pretty good shape. Brand new almost. This one, I think they sell this brand at Walmart. A belly dancer would love that belt, Bryce's Aggies babes, wrapper necklace. So there's this sun protection zone. I think these sell, like I say, at um, Walmart for, I don't know, 20 bucks or so. 15, 20 bucks, um, but they seem to be in like brand new condition, but I figured we'll probably keep them because I have a hat that I wear in the yard, but it is like one of those, makes me look like an Asian lady, you know, one of those type of hats, um, and maybe, and it probably doesn't have UV protection in it, um, it's like a big straw hat that I wear in the yard, <laughs> anyway, so these might do me better, um, and then when we go to the beach, these will be good, so it's a belt, okay, it's a belt. So, yeah, those are my, that's my haul from yesterday. Not a ton of stuff, but honestly, I don't need, I have so much stuff in here. <sighs> yeah, um, that's it, pretty much. I did, I did, <laughs> I did tease the other day. I never did share the rest of this. I bought a jewelry jar, and I was like, I bought a jar with Mardi Gras beads. It was 10 bucks. Guess what else I found in it? Um, what time is it? I guess I could share it real quick because normally I go for about an hour. Why don't, why don't we do that real fast? If you're like, okay, we're done, Margaret, you can go and I'll see you later. If you're leaving now because you don't want to see the jewelry jar that I spent $10 on that has <laughs> Mardi Gras beads. I'm like, why not? Let's just do it. Let's just plow through. Our garage sales were pathetic yesterday. See, ours too yesterday was like pff, rice patty hat, Melissa says. Yeah. Oh, happy Mother's Day, um, everybody. 111 viewers. Okay, go over there and hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to share. Yeah, so I got this. I did dig into it in one video. And then, like, the boys, I don't know, something happened. The boys needed me. And so I had to go, like, okay, I can't do this right now. I got to go. Um, hey, Heather. Heather. Okay, Heather, I was just talking about, I'm going to be moving the Chatterbooks videos over. I'm just moving everything over here. I'm just like, let's just have one big Texas gal hug on this channel. <laughs> um, so Heather was in one of them or two, maybe around two. I can't remember. Anyway, for sure one, <laughs> maybe two. <laughs> I'm a bad friend. Um, okay. So yeah, I, I spent $10 on this jar that had Mardi Gras beads in it and shell beads, but why? So it was on sale. It was yellow day. So it was half off yellow. 
Um, there was a jewelry jar, $39.99 Value Village. It was 90% Mardi Gras beads. Oh, hey, Laura. Hello, hello. I was in the kitchen and her jewelry jar. <laughs> the deviled eggs can wait. Oh, Jason says, I want a big Texas gal hug. Okay, here you go. Mm, there you go. Okay, so first up from the jewelry jar. Um, look at me. I'm feeling happy already. Thanks, everybody. You guys just cheered me up today. Okay, first up, we've got these beautiful green Mardi Gras beads. <laughs> Will there be something that's worth $10 in this jar? There was, or else I wouldn't have bought it. You know my rule. If I don't see something that will get my money back, I won't buy the jar. So, yeah, I did. And next up, <laughs> next up in the jar is this other beaded necklace with this cross. Looks like a craft that somebody made. Awesome. Uh, looking this. Okay, somebody else is asking for advice. So, okay, next up is this weird, stretchy, it's very strange bracelet. What, what, but you know what? It's probably going to go. I have some silver, like broken bits that I'm going to do a steampunk jewelry lot with. I did end up selling one of my jewelry lots. I think I shared it in my sales update. I don't know. Hey, Swan Maven, happy Mother's Day. So, yeah, that'll probably go in that lot. Next up. Seriously, there is a promise something that was worth ten dollars in here. Um, is this shell and um oh gosh, what are those beads called? Oh my goodness. Are those um my brain just went they're like oh my gosh, look at my brain. They're like the Hawaiian floating nuts, right? Yeah. Those beads would sell if you cut the bracelet. Yeah, aren't they cool? Okay. Uh, yeah, so there's that. I can't think of what those beads are called. Kukui nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they like float. The like they're like the seeds, and they float through the water. Like I know, but I couldn't think of what they were called. Yeah. Then there's these ginormous pearls. You know, on this, which is kind of fun actually. Now that I'm like, that's kind of fun. How much did you get your? Oh, I, I paid ten dollars for it. Yeah. Hi, Turtle Trader. Looks like olives and popcorn. It does. <laughs> no. Okay, so this, uh, again, this was not what why I bought it, but now that I'm playing with these giant pearly beads, it's kind of fun. Um, so, yeah, those will go into a lot, like a, a beaded lot to sell. And then, oh, my goodness, I'm reaching in. And then, again, also this was in there. Just a bunch of, again, fun beads. They're kind of fun, actually. If you look at them, they're hooked on these beads are hooked on to like a little ring so each little ring has a bunch of dangly bits that sounds weird um and then this was the reason that i decided to go ahead and get the jar so it had this like texas star lone star necklace in there on this leather strap i guess that's leather yeah it's what it's real tight so i was like oh for sure i can get my money back on that i could probably post that for Let's see. I don't see any marks on that, so I don't think that's silver. But I could probably still mark, you know, put this up for seventeen, twenty bucks, or something like that. Um, crafty caregiver. I just sold jewelry lots for nineteen ninety nine, about two pounds plus shipping in a flat rate envelope. Nice. <laughs> if those if those pearls were real, you could retire. <laughs> that would be awesome. Let me see. No. Um. Anyway, so yeah, that's this is the reason I went. I was like, yeah, okay, I'll get the jar. Um, then what else is in here? We've got this fabric and bead bracelet, I'm thinking maybe. So there's that. Let's see if there's anything else in here as a bonus. Hang on. I mean, that may be it, but I was just like, you know, you have those days where you're just like, I really just want to get something. So I did. So there's this one. Again, this will probably go into a beaded lot. And this is, oh, okay. No, I don't know. Hang on. Um, and this one looks like one of those pendants that used to look like a purse, but maybe the part that was the purse fell off? I don't know. This is very strange. So it's broken, whatever it is. And then there is a cross earring one. There is a blue stretchy bracelet. Yeah, maybe that may be the only thing that was worth anything in here. So not going to make a ton back on it, but hey. Uh, then we've got this little charm bracelet that's got a couple of Christmas charms on it. There is a tree and a little wreath. So that's okay. Well, again, they'll just end up in a lot. So what else? We've got a couple other things down here. 
<laughs> the star looks like something a tradesman tradesmen make all the time. I missed it. I missed it. Okay. And then we've got this really, it's like metal and macrame type necklace. Interesting. And da, da, da. here we go. Another little necklace is a Christmas, like Christmas trees. Little Christmas trees. It's cute. Little cute necklace. Festive, right? I'll probably list that by itself. It's a cute little dainty festive necklace. One more thing. Let's see. Okay. And, okay. What is, this is a very small necklace. Oh, look, I think it's silver. Hang on. I don't have my loop because I didn't expect to do this. But it is Mark 925. How about that? Okay. Ta-da! Silver necklace. So, it's tiny, though. That's not an anklet. So, yeah. We've got this little tiny weird bead link necklace that is marked silver on there. 925. I don't have my loop or else I'd read it better, but I, there's two marks. There's another mark on the other side. So there's that. Okay. That's it. So that's my $10 jewelry jar. Okay. I'm looking. Hello, everybody. Okay. So that's pretty much it. And I will be back later this week with um, the unboxing of the jewelry that Rose sent. And then again, I'm moving over my videos from my other channels. Just because, just to make my life easier. Like, I just want to have the one and people can take it or leave it. Ever since the video from yesterday and then the two Harry Potter videos, I've lost so many subscribers. But I was like, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, take me or leave me. That's how I figured. I'm just going to, we'll just go with that. Okay. <laughs> all right. So that's pretty much all I've got. Um, yeah. If you find me on Facebook, I'm Texas Scout Treasures on Facebook, on Twitter, t I think. It's either Twitter or Instagram. Anyway, I'm Texas Gal Treasures all over the place. TX Gal Treasures, I think, on Twitter. Texas Gal Treasures on Instagram. And I'll be back this week with more stuff. Yeah. So, anyway, thanks so much, you guys, for coming over and listening to everything. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.